What's up, fuckers? This is another episode of Hoggy's Beer, and Hoggy's Beer today is something you've probably never seen or heard of before. But see, that's why I'm here to bring you this shit, to show you this shit, to tell you about this shit. This is Khalid Gold, and this is from the Bahamas. Now, in case you have come across this before, you should know this is not the regular Khalid. This is Khalid Gold. There are two different versions of this beer. Uh, beer of the Bahamas, brewed by Commonwealth Brewery Limited, Nassau, Bahamas, Kalik. Here's the thing, and I've been meaning to do a video on Kalik for years. I was first introduced to this beer, these beers, in 2010. Uh, and as it turns out, see I didn't know this, I got schooled back in the day in 2010. There's two Kaliks. There's the regular Kalik beer, which is 5% alcohol. It's a standard, uh, it's a standard adjunct lager. Like most of the beers from Latin America and the Caribbean, they're, they're basically copies of the American style of beer, adjunct lager, fucking corn, right? But see, Kalik ain't fucking around. People in the Caribbean, people from the islands, they like to get fucked up, so they came up with Kalik Gold. And I'll show you right here. Let me see if we can zoom in. Where the hell does it say? Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't say it. I could have sworn it said it. Oh, fuck me, it doesn't. Hold on, man. Well, oh shit, there it is. Okay, see if we can get the zoom going. Can you, can you see that? Can you make it out right under gold where it says 7% alcohol by volume? The regular Kalik is a 5% standard adjunct lager comparable to Budweiser, I guess. But this fucker, 7%. So before I keep talking, and it's not a twist off, you need a knife or a big lighter, I guess. Yeah, the cops are coming for Project Pat. Some of you may not get that reference, it's okay. Save the cap for the fridge there. And uh, yeah, before I keep talking, 7% Kalik Gold from the Bahamas. That's right. You might be saying to yourself, Huggy, what does it taste like? It tastes like Corona if Corona had balls. Because Corona's like four to change, man. Corona's not even five percent. This is seven. This has balls. Now, see, here's the thing. When it comes to higher alcohol lagers, you know, you, you may have noticed over the last handful of years, uh, the big boys, Bud and Miller, have been introducing these new beers, uh, specifically, you know, Bud Light Platinum, you know, really uh, Budweiser and Hauser Busch in bed. Bud Light Platinum, six percent. Bud Black Crown, six percent. Beck Sapphire, six percent. Uh, the Bush Copper Lager, 5.7%, and even Miller jumped in the game with Miller Fortune at 7%. The reason that the big boy American brewers are doing this is because craft beer is becoming a larger part of the marketplace and the craft breweries are taking more of uh, Bud Miller Coors market share. So they're trying to compete. And since most craft beers have a higher alcohol percentage than regular standard beers like High Life and Budweiser and Corona and Miller, they're introducing all those other beers. But before they started doing that shit, there was this. Because once again, people in the islands like to get fucked up. So yeah, once again, I live in South Florida and I have available to me, <clears throat> and not just at like the specialty stores, not at the Total Wine type places or the BevMo type places, um, at the gas stations and supermarkets. Gas stations, supermarkets, and especially like the little, the small Spanish supermarkets, I get an interesting selection of Latin American beers. Not just Mexican beers. Mexican beers are all over the fucking country. I got beers from El Salvador, beers from Guatemala, beers from Venezuela, beers from Colombia, beers from Peru, um, beers from Argentina, beers from all the different Caribbean islands. There's a Haitian beer. Costa Rican beer, Pan Panamanian beer. Um, we used to have Cuban beer, even though it's not really actually brewed in Cuba. You get the, uh, the Modelo, not Modelo, Medalla, the Puerto Rican beer, Dominican beer, the list goes on. Um, we get that because we're in South Florida and we're close to the Caribbean, we're close to Latin America. You guys probably don't get most of those beers. And actually, what's my time? I can't run too long with this shitty beer. Actually, um, when it comes to beer selection in South Florida, especially when talking about like malt liquors and some of uh, like the cheaper beers and you know swill, bottom shelf, uh, economy brands, 
Uh, the selection is very limited in South Florida and I came to the realization not too long ago that probably one of the reasons that we don't get a lot of these beers stuff like Ballantine and Country Club, Magnum was pulled from distribution, regular Keystone isn't sold here, Extra Gold isn't sold here, the list goes on. And I came to the realization that perhaps one of the reasons that a lot of these uh, beers from the large commercial breweries are not sold in South Florida is because there's no shelf space for them because all these Caribbean and Latin American beers are here instead. I mean, let's face it, this, the distributors can only stock so many beers and transport so many beers in so many different brands. So if they have 20 different Latin American beers, some of the Miller shit had to be pushed out. I say Miller because if you're familiar how, with how distri uh, beer distribution works in this country, in every region, almost for sure, you're going to get two separate beer distributors that distribute beer to all the stores in the region. One is going to be your Anheuser-Busch affiliate that's going to carry all the Anheuser-Busch brands and every brand that has distribution with Anheuser-Busch, including Corona and including some of the, um, the Craft Brewers Alliance beers, uh, Kona, Widmere, uh, um, Longham, not Longhammer, who makes Longhammer? Red Hook. Those people are all on the Budweiser truck. All the other craft beers, all the Pabst beers and all the Schlitz beers, which is Pabst, and all the most of the malt liquors and all the Miller stuff and everybody else and their mother is on the Miller truck. I think Miller has more brands to distribute than Bud. So the other guy which does Miller products and the others, they got limited space. So it's either you know 16 different malt liquors and two Caribbean beers, or 12 Caribbean beers and four malt liquors. You see how that balances out. And obviously it's not just malt liquor, it's all kinds of alcoholic beverages on a whole. I think the fact that we are so close to Latin America and the Caribbean, and there are so many nowadays, there are so many beers like this, it leads to that uh, issue with selection. Which is really why I wanted to do this video, to have some Calique 7% and tell you about it, tell you that it exists, let you know what's up with the Caribbean beer and the Bohemian beer, but also to bring up that whole uh, distribution thingy mabobber. What's my time? Oh, we got to go soon. But yeah, uh, once again, there's not much to say about this beer in particular. Let's face it, if you know anything about beer, you already know what time it is. It's an adjunct lager in a clear bottle. Not the tastiest combination, but once again, if you got, you know, if you buy two or three of these six packs, you throw them in a cooler filled with ice, and you go to the park or the beach or the barbecue, 7% people. 7%. You can't beat that with a stick. Now granted, I bought this at a gas station just because I had been meaning to do a video with it. I saw it and I just said, fuck it, I'll just grab it right here. I overpaid. That gas station had it for like $10.99, which is ridiculous. But I've seen it in the supermarkets before. And I think the average price, it's your regular import price, eight, nine dollars for the six. So if you're talking about a six pack of 7% beers for eight, nine dollars, uh, you got yourself a deal. Buy a few of those packs and you got yourself a party. Let's see. Now, before I go, remember guys, I keep telling you, I'm gonna do those, sh those shirts. I'm gonna hit up uh, Teespring and I'm gonna set up some shirts. Fucking, I'm out of music. What? Nah, replay. I'm gonna do those shirts, so hit me up on the feedback. Let me know if you're down. Let me know what you wanna see. Give me some ideas and just show me your interest. I'm gauging interest off of these videos here. And uh, that's it. I'm not gonna be doing too many of those Latin American beers or Caribbean beers, so don't worry. We're gonna stick to stuff that everybody has access to. But the interesting shit I will share with you. And that's it. Hoggy's Beer, you know what's up, Hoggy'sBeer.com, Hoggy's Beer Facebook, Twitter, Hoggy on Google+, Hoggy's Beer on Untapped, uh, Hoggy's Beer t-shirts coming soon, all that good shit, I love you fuckers. One more time, one more time. Can we zoom in? Can, can we? Damn, I don't even think you can, you can see that. Can you see that? 7%, peace out. <laughs>